Hi guys! So this is 31 Days of Tarot and uh, for day 11 we have Tarot Goals of 2017. So some of these are my personal goals and some of them are more of uh, business goals because um, I, I read Tarot. I've been reading Tarot for about five years publicly. Um, yeah, about that. Um, a lot of it is done actually more local. Um, yeah, I do a lot of local readings and I really love it. And you know, it's actually kind of fun because you get to meet the person and you one on one kind of talking with them. And uh, I really like that aspect of um, getting that one on one time. So yeah, I, I, I prefer almost one on one, but I do enjoy email readings and video readings as well. So I do that on my Etsy shop. Anyways, I don't know how I got on that tangent. Holy Dinah. Um, oh man, I must be at the end of my day, which I am. I've been working all day. Ah, okay, so tarot goals. Let's get on track. <laughs> um, okay, so one of my own personal tarot goal goals for 2017 is actually learning new tarot spreads. Uh, I have a tendency to use the same spreads um for doesn't matter what <laughs> you know and it's i have like basically three spreads that i use all the time no i shouldn't say three i've got about four four spreads that i utilize often and they're really good and handy but it'd be nice to expand and offer other different types of readings like one i just started offering on my etsy shop is actually an akash akashic records um, reading. Now I got the um, Star Child Akashic edition, edition um, Tarot which is awesome and it actually has like an Akashic card which is really cool and in the guidebook it has an Akashic reading um, spread. So I thought you know what I'm going to totally offer that out to people um, and maybe add a few extra cards that that um, are different placements that kind of go just a little bit deeper. Um, so yeah, I was thinking that it would be nice to expand more, work with more um, spreads, maybe different healing type spreads, specific different ones. I have that awesome 365 tarot spreads book, which is really great. Um, and that'll help inspire, I think, some of these, these different options for people. Um, okay, so learning spreads. I was thinking also for my own self, um, you know, I've never really taken much for courses. I'm more self-taught and I've read lots of different books, um, guidebooks as well as tarot reading books and listened to lots of like online, like videos online of people talking about tarot. So I would like to th though um, actually take a course um, something involving tarot, uh, some other way of expanding a little bit. So that would really be awesome. You know, one option would be like that Reader's Studio, uh, I think it's in New York. Like that would be awesome to attend some, a conference even, something like that. Like I've never done anything like that. So I'd really love to expand that way. Maybe it's not like a huge New York trip, but it might just be like even as simple as taking an online course. I think that would be awesome. And kind of spice things up, communicate with other people, bounce ideas, you know, uh, I think there'd be a lot of really good benefits to it. Um, now another personal one is actually, but slash business, <laughs> is um, taking more priority on my, my tarot deck. I'm, I'm creating a tarot deck. It's, uh, I believe, going to be called Creatures Within or Creatures From Within Tarot. Um, I really love the deck and I can actually show you a picture of it too. Okay, so I brought out some of my um, paintings just in case you are new to my channel and you haven't seen any of them. Um, yeah, the Creatures From Within Tarot, that's what I'm working on. I'm only a few images in, like I think I have maybe 10 possibly now. So obviously it's taking me a long time, but that's just the way it goes with life, right? So here's some, a few different paintings I've done. These, this one's actually acrylic on wa uh, watercolor paper and uh, I use ink as well.
Yeah, so I want to take more time to be able to do this. You know, I get snagged into other things and, you know, creating for our doing craft sales. Um, but I'd really like to be able to do more of these paintings and um, maybe perhaps even look at doing some prints and things like that. So that way it might help fund the project. Um, if I have some prints going um, that I could sell, it might help um, promote and speed up this whole process of, of making this tarot deck. So yeah, so those are some of the images. This is one for the YouTube channel actually in terms of tarot for 2017. I'd like to do uh, tarot reader interviews. So I love listening to tarot readers talk about their path and um, how they got into this and maybe some of their own experiences of um, of reading tarot, maybe any cool stories, um, or even just not even necessarily tarot, but just even doing readings, psychic readings or oracle or whatever it happens to be that that person does. I'd love to do interviews um, or talk more about that subject matter because it's something I really love and gets me inspired and excited and I love listening to it too. Um, now planning and organizing as well, uh, new places to read and to expand to, like towards new audiences, that's something I'd really like to do as well. Um, some on social media, I think I'll, I'll do a little bit on there, but I'd also like to expand just um, around my local area. I have a tendency to... Uh, or my province, I should say. Sorry, the lighting is horrible. <laughs> um, I'd like to read more around my province of Manitoba in Canada. Um, I stick a lot to local or maybe just one city centre in particular, but um, I don't really uh, branch out much further than that. So I'd like to go out a little bit more to other different places or different venues. I'd even like to do some charity work. I haven't done really any charity work in terms of reading like no actual venues i i have given free readings but um you know like as gift certificates for charities but i'd actually like to do a venue as part of the entertainment i guess um for people to donate towards the cause that would be really great and it's a great way to uh, read for different people you know that would be going to those events and maybe they would come for an actual reading afterwards too um, oh, and the last one, it's more of a personal one, personal goal, is to actually get more readings done for myself. <laughs> um, seriously, true story. I, you know, I used to get them, at least I planned for once a year. And now I don't even do that. <laughs> like, it's kind of daunting and sucks because I, <laughs> I have nothing to complain, but oh my gosh, I just... You, you focus so much on what you're doing and you kind of forget about yourself. And I think that's like the case of being just a mom <laughs> because I'm a mom of two boys. So you're, you know, you're doing your work, your business, and then, you know, kids and the husband come home and you're so busy with them and then you kind of forget about yourself. So seriously, I've been like making it more about me. <laughs> no, <laughs> um, I really would like to do some of those things that I used to do, even when the kids were small. Like they were babies, I was still getting readings for myself. So it's silly, I need to make it a priority and just get my own readings once again. And I like to try new people um, because before I was kind of sticking with the same people I've, I've had readings for or with and um, I think that's really good. But you know, some of them were like afterwards saying the, kind of like the same thing. So it'd be nice to get fresh new eyes, fresh new perspective. So that's something that I would really love for 2017. I know it's not like a learning goal, but in a sense, it's path working for myself, right? Shadow working for myself, because when you get a reading done from someone else, it really helps illuminate some of those things and confirm things you've already been thinking about. So yeah, I gotta do this like ASAP. <sighs> so that is day 11. But thank you so much for watching for day 11 of 31 Days of Tarot. And we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.